Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of living all over the world, my name is Robert Huddleston, and we're going to discuss suicide. Don't commit suicide. I mean, that should be the end of the conversation. Don't kill yourself. I, I guess some people don't get that concept, so allow me to elaborate. First of all, there's no purgatory. There's no getting back. When you kill yourself, first and foremost, you go to hell. So, it was never your conscience. It was never your guardian angel. It was never your thoughts. The voice in your head telling you to kill yourself is Lucifer. He doesn't want you to live. Why? Go see my video as to what Lucifer looks like. You were made in God's image, and he was not. He hates you for that. So, He's the one who will tell you to kill yourself. So the first time you have a thought about, well, maybe I could just end it all, banish that thought. Say, Lucifer, be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Be gone in the name of the Lord God Yahweh. That right there. If you need more, let's go back and think about some people who... Let's think about that. I can't remember what year it was. It was a handful of years ago. It was a big campaign, like a big summer-long push for uh, suicide. Robin Williams committed suicide, and nowhere on social media. And it became the beginnings of the social media bullying. If you said something that the woke crowd didn't like, like, hey, suicide's pretty fucking dumb. Don't, don't do that. You're dead. How dare you? You don't understand um, what it's like to be depressed. You don't understand depression. Um, if you've never wanted to kill yourself. I don't. I don't. I love living. So, they like to negate the argument from me. I love being alive. And they, I say, well, look, Robin Williams had a great life. They're like, well, yeah, if, if Robin Williams can't beat depression, then who can? Well, if that's your measuring stick, then we're all dead already. I know that I beat depression. I mean... I have moments that are depressing. You have moments that are depressing. You don't kill yourself. You don't go hang yourself. So, I mean, that right there, you're better than Robin Williams. And I say better than, because he surrendered. Just like I talked about Arnold Schwarzenegger the other day. At 6'2", 215, at 15 years old, that wasn't enough. He took steroids. What was Robin Williams? 60? All the awards, all the money, all the women, all the fun, all the fans, wasn't enough. So maybe you should get over that. Maybe I just, maybe I just cracked the code. Maybe you're not going to be fulfilled in your every instance. And you will never fill that emptiness with death. Right? Like if you achieved a thing and it didn't make your soul full, well, that's because you lack God. All of the accolades in the world for Robin Williams. Nothing if you're godless. All the all the trophies in the world mean nothing without without God in your life. David Carradine, remember him? Kung Fu? He had a pretty great life. Pretty awesome life. I grew up watching him every day. Kung Fu, the legend continues. Kwai Chang Kane. He hung himself. Jerking off. Right, autoerotic asphyxiation. He played with himself while hanging himself to death. I mean, the, the devil. Only the devil. Michael Hutchins. Remember NXS? Super good looking. Dated him. Every rock star chick. Every supermodel chick. He died jerking off while hanging himself. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Get any girl in the world wasn't enough. So, you're obviously listening to a voice that is the devil, saying that it'll never be enough. Well, no, it will never be enough. God is what is enough. Jesus the Christ is what is enough. So if you're looking around trying to build your life with worldly things, you're going to come up empty. And suicide's always going to look like a uh, an option. It's not. Let me go back and tell a little story. I might tell this one a couple of times. My father had me when he was 57. 
at 65, he went in for a bowel surgery. I couldn't tell you the, um, and he was in pretty good shape, right? Incredible shape for 65. He went in for a bowel surgery. I couldn't quite tell you the details of, but it shouldn't have been life altering. A doctor, a medical doctor named Ramsey, a renowned surgeon, left a gauze or a bandage, something disposable inside of him, and it broke down, caused a renal failure, caused his toes to be amputated. Watched my dad suffer for a decade. Um, a, I personally saw half a dozen doctors tell him, well, it's time to just go home and, you know, and he's like, die? I'm like, die? Let's get out of here. I wouldn't die. Every day that he could get out of the bed, he would be outside on the deck on a exercise bike, and I'd be like, Dad, what are you doing? It's cold out. You're sick. He'd be like, I gotta get stronger. I gotta get stronger today. I watched my dad. Poor. No electricity. No running water. One room schoolhouse. Drafted off to Korea. Right? Then, does all the things in life, goes to a medical doctor, that medical doctor does him horrible dirty, and after all that, he's like, no, we're going to get better. Robin Williams couldn't muster better. Robin Williams couldn't be like, no, I, I, need, I need to struggle more. Life is worth living. So if you're looking around this holiday and you're feeling alone, this holiday, the Christmas holiday coming, the holidays, first off, don't kill yourself over Thanksgiving. It's a made-up holiday. My people... The Cherokee met my people, the Dutch, and for one year, they ate and didn't kill one another. Okay, spoiler, they end up killing one another. So if you miss this Thanksgiving because of this silly COVID, and don't let the COVID stop you, but if you actually are, there's sick people, somebody's job is at stake, because that's the thing, we, we unfortunately live in Babylon, we live in these corona times. If for whatever reason, if you don't even have anybody tomorrow, what if you don't have family to even be away from? You, you ain't going to find family by killing yourself. The problem, the, the solution to your problem is never on the other side of uh, suicide. You kill yourself, you go to hell. David Carradine killed himself, went to hell. An excess guy killed himself, went to hell. Robin Williams killed himself, went to hell. That same summer, lady in... Uh, Oregon, had a brain tumor, could still talk, still had her shit together. Chose to kill herself while she still had her shit together. And, and she was fat, right? So, like, she obviously hadn't fasted. She obviously hadn't, you know, just, like, went to the mountain and breathed fresh air and drank nothing but water for 30 days. Like, we know that works. It's 2020. We know that if you stop eating poison and just drink water, your body will correct almost everything. That went up. She had to kill herself while, while she still... Before she was undignified, screaming and howling in pain. Well, an, an overweight, ill person killing themselves before the final breakdown of their flesh isn't noble, isn't brave. Robin Williams succumbing to mental illness isn't noble or brave. Michael Hutchins from NXS literally taking excess to the limit till he died. Nothing cool or brave or acceptable. Did you see something in war? My dad went to Korea, saw horrors, didn't kill himself. I got a slew of uncles, went to Vietnam. Got sprayed with Agent Orange. Shot and killed little uh, Asian boys. They didn't blow their own brains out about it. Life's hard. Life's hard on everyone. Life is moments of hard and not hard. If I can't say what you haven't seen, I can't talk about what the chemicals in your system are. If you're on a bunch of pills... Suicide probably seems way more an option because your chemicals ain't right. If you're on a mountain of anabolic steroids, there's going to come a point and you're up, you're down, you're dip where, boy, the hormones just aren't telling the truth. So you got to start being aware. Look around. Are you drinking three Red Bulls a day? Well, that'll mess with your mind. Are you eating Percocets? That will mess with your mind. Do you drink a ton of uh, diet soda? Well, that, that'll change the, the chemical over time. That will change your chemistry. And maybe suicide don't sound bad. Seriously, go drink some water. Go take deep breaths. Attempt a push-up. Don't kill yourself. 
If it's over a girl, there's more of them. If it's over a boy, there's more of them. If it's over money, money's fake. If it's over a holiday, Thanksgiving's fake. The Dutch and the Cherokee ultimately killed one another. Were you sad about Christmas coming up? Well, Jesus wasn't really born in December. We're celebrating Yule. Right? Don't kill yourself over Yule. I don't know, what, what celebrity did I miss that killed themselves that I could throw under the bus? Hey, if you killed yourself, I'm never going to say a good thing about you. I'm never going to shine a light on your legacy. Your, uh, your last act, your last sentient act in this life was surrender to some struggle. Probably not even a struggle I'd respect. Oh, you're in pain. Oh, you're sad. I mean, are you currently being burned alive and you have the chance to eat a bullet? Maybe then we'll have that debate. But life just doesn't go your way. You're emotionally upset. Hey man, more people than have ever lived, more people than are alive right now have struggled through worse than you have to get you here. Don't insult all those people that came before you by killing yourself. The Lord doesn't appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share. If you know somebody who killed themselves and you don't like the things I said, fight with me. If you're thinking about killing yourself, fight with me. I'll fight with you. might keep you alive. But very most importantly, God bless you.